The year is June 3rd, 2015, 11 GMT, in Accra, Ghana. It's a day which family members of those who lost their life in the capital city of Accra due to flooding will never forget. A day which Ghana had the biggest rainfall, I think, in history, and then uh, a disaster which the hearts of Ghanaians will never forget. And by the look of things, I think Ghana has forgotten. The government and the citizens have forgotten about the June disaster. Welcome back to the channel with Grisha's Reaction on Grisha's Reaction with another video. Guys, today it's not a reaction. It's something which I would like to address. Uh-huh. Means to mean Kebi. Uh-huh. Let me also say some. Yeah. Yesterday, it started raining at 6 o'clock p.m. Thereabout. Uh-huh. It started like 6 to 5.30 thereabout. It was drizzling. And then it got west from 7 eight nine thereabout and as i was in my room thanking god that oh i'm safe I'm, I'm i'm in a dry place and then i'm on a higher ground something dawned to me like i don't know how it <laughs> god just reminded me of that i just remembered that no some people are homeless and then some are at lower places where the when it rains it enters their room and stuff and I was thinking I was just thinking about the whole thing and I couldn't rest like you it was worrying my 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 thoughts lo and behold this morning when I woke up and went online what I saw and what I I, I, I feared most happened what I feared most happened it was flood everywhere it rained yesterday about uh, almost eight hours or nine hours some places nine hours because when i my mom called me this morning to check on me she is in the water region it rained for almost 10 or nine hours because when she called me early in the morning six o'clock this morning it was still raining at akachi in the water region heavily yesterday's rain will be one of the highest rain ghana have ever recorded because it was all over kind of all over the nation also yeah and we know that in Ghana, when it rains, we are in trouble. Yeah, we are in trouble, especially Accra, Tema. Like, yo, Central Region, Kaswa, we are always in trouble. Because of the bad policy and the, the bad behavior of we Ghanaians. Now, I will, always, I will speak on the government. Uh -huh, that one, dear. You can say whatever you want, but I don't care. Because it's high time... We, 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 we say some, uh -huh. it doesn't mean that we are youth or something like that. We have to say some for our leaders to hear. If they don't hear, we have, we have, we have, we have said our own, yeah. Proper drainage system. We live in a country where our drainage system is very, very poor. How can a country like Ghana be having an open top drainage system? A city having an open top drainage system. While we know that citizens will, will, will pour rubbish and stuff. I will address that one very, very soon. Those of you who purposely, like, it, it, it's mind busting. It's, it's annoying. You may be in the comfort of your home somewhere being affected by the rain. So you think, oh, I'm okay. Your activities are, are, are destroying somebody's life, property, and home. Obit me, Shada, a year ball, a free fee. Aha, I've seen it personally. Yes, I see. Not that. They, they say, no, I've seen it myself. When I was working at Accra, I used to wake up at dawn, four, five, there about and go. Somebody will beat me, said that, a year ball of free and our package, as a look, as a bag, like in a black, big, polythene bag, as if it's his or her load. Now I bet jar to station, and now when the car is moving, that he, he or she will throw it out of the window. And this thing will end up in gutters, drains. And when it rains, these things get pushed into the gutters and the gutters get choked. 
for the water to flow, it's a problem. So the water have to burst open and like overflow through the whole place, like go into the city, go into people's home. And, and it's, it's, it's so disturbing. When I watched the videos this, this morning, I was, I was like, yo, God have mercy on those who are in, in, in lowlands. Uh -huh. That one addressed. Then let's come to our attitude. Let's change Ghana. Like, yo, let's change. Udi dear, put it in a dustbin. If you're not having a dustbin, put it somewhere. Like, if you reach where there's a dustbin, you put it inside. Let, let's change the mindset and the attitude. When I was in the market, there was this place which, like, uh, we used to urinate. Somebody placed uh, a bag of rubbish, like, politin bag full of uh, pure tarabes. When I said it, the person told me that, a hona me da, is that where you sleep? Like, yo, have you seen it? They tell you trash. They, so if you also see it, you just bypass. Yeah. When you see the person throwing rubbish somewhere, which is not good, and you, you advise him or her, he will tell you trash. Like, he would, so that's it. There's a very bad attitude Ghanaians have to change from. Africans. Africans. Last, was it last, last two weeks or whatever? Last month or what? I don't know. Yeah, it was last three weeks. South Africa was flooded. Durban was, was yo. People died and people lost their over 4,000 residents. Uh -huh. They were not prepared for it. Just like how Ghana wasn't prepared for June 3rd. 2015 disaster. Yeah, sign a busy. That's it. I want us to watch the videos. I'm not so that somebody will say, well, Gracious is just bluffing. Gracious is just talking plenty. No, let's watch the videos. We are show. Yeah. So now I started on. This was the early hours of, of, of Saturday. They kind of say, early hours of 6 thereabouts, 6 30 thereabouts. As you can see, the sky is, is not that much dark. And I'm showing shots here. Eto. Uh, yeah. Oh, Charlie. This is around. Yeah, can I say? Charlie. Uh, this time, oh, baby, I'm showing you. Look at the level of the car and the level of the water. And listening to to the to the people there shouting and 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 screaming for for the yeah, can I say rescue of the person that can. We listen to them very well. Charlie, Charlie, my goodness. Hey, uh -huh. He's saying in tree that the driver is in the car. Look at the level. And the amount of water pressure there if the driver tries to open that car. Hey! You mm. want to check out anywhere with that one? And what is he doing in the car? This driver. Oh. This is Accra, Ghana. Accra, Ghana. And yet, village. This is the capital city of the country, Ghana, where the president lives. Hey, Ghana. I can't say you probably need me on. Don't you see that? Hey, see, you go build this big building. This big building. Where you know go feel do drainage? Can you imagine? Some people are too so selfish that I don't know. They buy land and they want to use every piece of the land. Like they don't want to even leave. Uh, I can't say a part, a foot part, be like for for people to pass. No. You build a complex. Look at that. Look at that huge building without a drainage system. Or train are buying somebody here, man. Like yo, does that make sense? It's just like building your house, knowing that you go to toilet, you visit the latrine, you go open it, then you will not build a uh, kind of thing, toilet or, or or latrine. It's the same thing. Property owners, stop that and and. Help, 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 help yourselves. Common drainage. It is best that the government can mm. do for you. I buy. I buy in Benye. Government. I buy in Swabre. I buy in Swabre. Hey! Boy, I know I can know it for more. Hey! Just here, Jimmy, Jimmy. Wow, look, 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 look at the water level. Look at this water level. If I stand up, I'm five point something. Look at look at the water level. I'm five point five, 
5.8 oh, I'm 5.8 in height. And look at the water level. When we see more, a bedroom, it will be like here. The whole place is flooded. Look at the water level. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very serious. Yeah. Yeah. Ghana. This is very serious. Very, very serious. Ghana, no. wow, wow, look at. Look at, look at the building and look at the building and windows. Look at the water level, almost to the roof. Oh. Almost to the roof. Imagine you are sleeping with your wife and your children. Now you have a cool, free. This was last night. 21st. Yeah, last night. This last night. Saturday. Last night. Now, this morning. Do you, do you see how the water is gushing out of people's home like, like a dam? When a dam spill gate is open. It's one of the dam communities. Wow, look. Obi demo. Look at the water level in the room. Obi demo. To fuck your me. Without that, without that. The water is almost up to the waist level. Obi dem, look at. All his things, all his things are wet. Everything. Guys, that's it. You've seen it for yourself. It's not gracious that he's talking too much. No. You've seen it for yourselves. You've seen it. And then, uh, and if you are youth, you are yet to buy a house or build a house. Don't build in wetlands. Go and do proper survey to know whether where you are building is it a swamp or is waterlogged before you build. Otherwise, what should be a And Chinchina, if you want to build there, no, make sure you have the financial muscle to, to raise up the foundation very high before you build there. If you can't afford it, don't buy. Don't, 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 don't because they are most, most of the wetlands, they sell them cheap. They sell it cheap because they know what will go on there. Don't, 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 don't fall for it. Look for a higher ground and build there. And if you build, make sure you have a drainage system. Make sure you have a drainage system. Proper one, of course, and keep it clean and neat. Let's change our attitude and we'll have a better Ghana. God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong.